Generic greetings and welcome back once again to House Builder. Today's generic construction beverage is a very refreshing glass of cranberry and apple juice drink. Very nice indeed. So once again on House Builder, I never intended to feature any more of the game, but here we are. I've been enjoying it and people seem to want to see it. So yeah, in the previous video, we completed the Trapper House and sold that. I actually recently bought it because I wanted to see if it was a slightly different mission and well, it isn't. So I'll just uh, sell that there and I've just gained some money. Good. In this video and perhaps a subsequent one, we'll have to see how long it takes. We're going to go ahead and build the Japanese house. So this is going to be a bit different and different construction techniques will be used I guess in building this. So let's go to... I'm actually going to sell it first um, just to reset the mission. I've loaded in and had a run around but I wanted to buy it fresh so we can see what it's like uh, from scratch here. So this is the Japan tea house. Oh, okay so we can uh, consume some beverages in there. I wonder if it's heretical to drink anything other than tea. Hmm. Well, we're rocking up with the cranberry and... I was going to say cranberry and lime, but it's cranberry and apple. Anyway, fun fact. Welcome back. The climate is a bit more friendly, but the culture is more oriental. Yes, of course. You will learn about the most stunning building methods for classical Japanese architecture. Good. These houses have their own character. Have fun, good luck. And good luck and have fun, apparently. So, yes, they're very much wishing us uh, good luck. We've got... Oh, a, a very vast mountain range over there. We've... I mean, is that volcano? Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got uh, our construction area here, obviously overlooking this vista, which is very nice indeed. We have some timbers, we have some foundation stones, we have some flowering cherry perhaps? Other trees are available. And we've got these lanterns as well, some look ancient looking sort of columns with fire in them. Uh, and a nice path that goes along here as well that gets... Very, very foggy after a while. Um, okay, I wonder what that's all about. Let's have a, a quick look up here. And, oh, it actually teleports us back. Hmm, perhaps unfinished and or contains secret things. We also can go down to the dock. In fact, when I say can, it's most likely we'll need to. And draw distance for... <laughs> draw distance for the foliage is apparently about there. And Oh, I've just realised when I move, not only can we see our body when we look down, but also our neck sort of detaches... A bit like a Pez dispenser. Uh, there you go. So we've got some timbers, we've got some lattice work, all the framing, and oh, we've got someone who's sitting here. Hello there. Are you all right? How rude. Don't even answer us back. Looks like they're in an advanced state of refreshment, uh, but uh, perhaps nice and calming on that box. Okay, let's go back up the top and we will see what we have to do. At this stage, you have to collect the stones for foundation foots and place them in the transparent blue places. So let's pick up this. Um, oh, so I'm just going to have to literally pick it up and move it like that. Yes, I have to. Okay, let's do just that. So, pick it up. <coughs> oh, it's all this tree pollen. Excuse me. Big sneeze there. Uh, <laughs> just pick these up and move them around. Uh, we could edit it out, but it's not good. We'll keep it in. Uh, <laughs> we're going to move these around and get these placed. So, uh, it looks like to be, what was it, nine stones in total. So, it's giving us a few extra there. So, it says, perfect, done. Uh, that is a 2% progress. We are well in our way to completing that. So, time for piles for the beams. You should lay near blueprints. So, let's just literally pick them up and place them there. Oh, and it's all magically shaping them as well. So, it's looked like it's cutting out the top and placing the little peg in there. Um, I guess this building is uh, all pegged together. I can't assume that like nails and such would be a use, but then you never really know. And then you did it. There we go. To insert the beams, you must prepare them first. Raw beams lay near the sawhorse. Uh, when you find them, prepare them on the sawhorse, then place them to, uh, on to the blueprint. Remember that you can use your sense under the Z key. Ooh, there you go. Uh, so these planks here are there? Is that what it's talking about? No, that is not there. Oh, it's this one. So it says, um, pick it up, uh, place it on the sawhorse, and then prep it, and then put it on there. Okay, I can, I can hopefully do that. So pick up the item, place it on the sawhorse, the sawhorse... Oh, look at that. So it automatically moves the sawhorse to either side and then cuts out... These, uh, these bits as well. So we'll pick it up and... Hmm. It doesn't match that area, does it not? Uh, but it has... Oh. Right, has that... Is that the right bit of wood or has that changed? That's a bit concerning. Um, okay. I thought that was... So why is that gone green? 
it is it's correct. I think it's correct. Anyway, let's pick up these and... Oh, good grief. Uh, place that there. We'll prep that. And this one now has the bits going down over. So... Looks like it looks like it's just automatically placing it there. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just continue on with our building of this. Yeah, there you go. Don't need the shorter beams. Are the shorter beams? No, they just moved along, that's all. Can you prep two at once is the question. No, you cannot. Belongs elsewhere. Whoa, I think I've just launched it into lower orbit. No, we're fine. Um, that'll go on the back, yes. Um, we'll prep that, so there we go. See the saw horse, saw horses, 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 horse eyes. Yeah, the move. Um, and I do notice that they are pegged as well. We've got the holes for the, for the pegging there. So you see there. So as those bits go in, inside that, we can then put the pegs in to, to hold it all. That's good. And that's. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's, it's it's a bit of driftwood on the edge of the cliff there. Let's just. Okay, it's going from bad. It's going from bad to worse. <laughs> um, right, it's going to. <laughs> it's going to have a quick chat with Hubble Space Telescope. Apparently, let's just um, let's let's just use this. I I really hope we've got spare spare wood because if not, then we are absolutely absolutely screwed. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> let's see. So that goes on there and done so we need to then place these okay yeah and there's the pegs where we have to just have to push those in so in they go and we actually have to interestingly we, we have to actually keep our mouse on them so if i just hold left click and the mouse moves off like that it stops pushing it so got a little bit more interaction which is good so placing the beams in placing these pegs in to hold them so it says uh, time for assembly of prepared elements there we go. And the final piece. You did it! You did it. Okay, there are more planks to spot the structure. So, it says using plain sense, press Z. Yes, uh, yes, that's, that's what I'll do. So, here's some of the planks then. And it looks like we can just pick it up and put it where we need to place them. Um, obviously, some of them are longer than others. Like those. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, these, oh, these look quite long. Problem is, I really don't want to lose any more planks because, um, well, yeah, one of them's already over there. I don't know if we can get other. Oh no, I don't know if we can get other bits of wood. I assume, perhaps wrongly, that you can, but uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we, in uh, in due course. Um, that one there will be one more. So we'll head up here and outstanding. outstanding. Oh. Just all the stair brackets, you can find them near the house. Right? Stair bra- Ah! Stair brackets. Okay, good. So one. You only get three of these. Two. And three. Okay. Uh, it says, cutting with handsaw. It's asking us to pick up the saw. And the tape measure. So these planks here. Um... What sort of size are we looking at for? It is a 1.85 meters, and I will uh, pick. Uh, whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on. So we've seen this before, uh, <laughs> uh, where we have some problems. One, I'll drop these down because we're good because we're really good at cutting. Um, we may have some problems if I start cutting this now. So let me just move these around. So it was 1.85 meters, although I would I would guesstimate. Um, that this would, I reckon if we place that there, it would just work. Should we test that theory out? Yeah, I thought it would work. Um, because we have that from the previous mission, we have the option to, uh, I think it's up to 50% we can use, uh, 50% uh, for the, for the leeway. Anyway, time to build a floor. You can find nearby raw planks on a stack ready to mount. Um, well, all these, I'm guessing. Let's see. Yeah, exactly that. Okay, let me just pick up most of these. Construction is at 16%. I mean, I say we'll be able to get replacements. But I can't imagine that in this environment... I don't think it would be, it would be frowned upon uh, in this scenario to be chopping down... All of the lovely, uh, 
lovely trees. We've built a we've built a lovely place. Uh, sadly, the place we've built it for is um, well, you wouldn't really want to be there anymore because it's all gone. Um, hmm. Okay, we're a bit short on wood. Can I use that? No. Those? No. Bol I mean, boulders. I don't know why we've got a spare boulder. Some floor sections by the look of it. Um, I guess we'll have to use these. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to put it there, the saw, cut it in half, but then that gives us all of these, because <laughs> that's what our saw does. And... You got it. We've done it. Right. And that is... Oh, ha, hang on. I assume it's this. Yes, and we just need to construct it. This bit here, when we're moving these in, reminds me of a uh, house flipper. Where we're installing the bathroom stuff. <laughs> and, like, the washer. You got it. You got it. So that's a little hatch. Don't know what for, but there it is. Um... Assemble the rails. You seem to be right. Job done. And then the the horizontal. Now the question is, does it mean, hmm, like that? It does mean that. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that like what just one bit, or do we have to chop it? But it's just one bit. You did it. Nice. And, oh, framing. Okay, I've seen those bits of wood somewhere. Don't think it's that bit. Recommends these, does it? Okay. Outstanding. And, oh, it's recommending we cut these for that, is it? Oh my, that just seems to be a waste. <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's like turning a tree into a toothpick. There's just we're just wasting all this all this stuff here. But there you go. Let's see. I hope we really don't get to a point where it says, "Oh yes, and you need one more of these, and you can find it over there." <laughs> yeah, it just uh, launch itself over there, and um, we'll place this in. Oh, we have to go underneath to place the pegs to secure it. That's nice. That looks good. Sadly no holes at the top there, but you know we can forgive it a little bit. Um, also, what's down here? Ah. We've got a gold idol. 1,500 generic units of currency. Not bad at all. And we can't go over there. Okay, good. Coming back then, we will have a look at the sides. We'll do a scan, and it's recommending all of this timber. Right, okay. Um, hmm. What I'm going to do is place it here, like that. Get the saw and cut off an absolutely tiny, tiny bit. See them bits there? But we're doubling the amount of wood that we've got. Because, you know, we have the skills apparently to pay the bills. There you go. Um, need to cut a little bit more. I'm going to pick up all of these, by the way, and just... Uh, I'll just put them there. It'll, it'll degrade down. Um, back to cutting and just... Do that. And there we go. Follow that. Follow that. <laughs> Tiny little section there. That is not. And then that is... Gonna be... Already made, I think. Let me just dump all this here. It is here. The ring for, like, the window, I would imagine. There you go. Uh, it says, help panel, using a ladder. Uh, I mean, I guess it means you just pick up the ladder, right? Okay. So, back to, back to this. Put 
and jump. There we go. That's fine. So it did say use a ladder. I might, I might pick this ladder up. And place it there. Can we go up the other side as well? No. Can we rotate it? Uh, scroll to change distance, but not to rotate it. So it's actually... Well, hang on. Oh. <laughs> I reckon we could probably glitch this. Hold item. I was I picked it up and moved into it, and it, I, <laughs> I went up. Hmm. Anyway. Um, let me just get rid of this ladder now. From, put it up. How do, you, how do you rotate it? Press R? No. Okay, whatever. Right, let's just do this. Um, that goes in. Another one of those getting cut. All shaved down. Got the same effect as um, the Infinity Gauntlet snap. There's <laughs> all the stuff just flaking away. Uh, other special effects are available. She's not on this budget. And one last one. We're on 34% progress, actually. So not bad. And then, yeah, this is another construction job. So we have to physically put these in place. Like that. And then we put these like big, big pegs in to hold them all together. Good. You did it. And you've did it. Right, where are we up to? Second Ruth Wreath, like previously you will need to insert from beams. Um Go from here then. Okay. Oh wow, look at that was just cut cut to nothing. Oh it's stuck on the sawhorse. No, we're fine, we're fine. Um Yeah, I think we're gonna be short of shot of wood. Is the more is the Lord's more down there? There's a selling point. Uh, right, I don't know if that also means we can purchase stuff. I really hope so. I really hope so. <clears throat> Jump in there, that's fine. And last piece of wood to place it on the back. There we go. And, I mean, this is for a, for a tea house. <laughs> I mean, this is this is stronger than a lot of skyscrapers, the amount of stuff that's in here. What is that? Can't find materials? Press O to use the shop. Ah, right. So, what do we need? Um, we've got all sorts of stuff here. Right. Curved cedar beam is a very important element of a Japanese architecture. Is it? Okay. You can prepare it from raw beam on a sawhorse in case problems order beams to the board. Can we just put that there? Yeah, we can. Brilliant. Okay. So bring that in here. Great. And then place that in. And then we've got, like, the pitch of the roof. Um, it's saying place those. Okay. We should have enough here. Once again, though, I am gonna... I am gonna double, double up on this. So I think I do think this is exploitation of unintended game mechanics. I mean, I'm still going to continue exploiting them, don't get me wrong, but I just want to point out that I'm aware that this is probably not, I would say, intended. Um, <laughs> hey, we're a builder, right? We have to, we have to, why can't I pick that? We have to, we have to save money where we can. <laughs> so, uh, first time, see the spans, you'll find them near the building. Uh, it's all this, is it? Yes, it is. Obviously, we cannot, uh, we cannot, like, go for I cannot go for a double and up on this and cut the ends off I don't think that's going to work because these are sp specially prepared bits um, well, I was going to say we've still got stuff in our hands we've got 11 in our hands and then can we get those in as well uh, no rafters they're made of planks See the way they do that. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, here's our planks. We're gonna do our our uh, old trick, I think. I'll do our old trick. Get the saw out, and then 
Just cut off the ends. Cut off the ends. I'll do the same here. Cut off the ends. I can see this being patched. <laughs> and we'll go inside. So one, two, three, four, five. I can see there's already holes in for pegs as well. Perfect. So those go in there. Oh, look at that. And they've, they've got a dowel that goes in. Is there a difference between a dowel and a peg? Is it just a naming convention? A dowel's typically round, peg's square. It, do the do the function you know work different? I really I really don't know. Um, looks like those are getting placed. We can pick up those extra pieces. Put that there. Rad. Um, what about those? It looks like we've got some planks. Um, got loads of planks here. I think they're all about the same. You know what? I think we'll get away with just using these. Oh no, there's quite a few, isn't there? Right, let me let me drop those down. Pick all these up, and then we'll put this in the corner. Actually, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a fair bit of building, so. It'll be a nice time to leave it. 60% progress. We've got, obviously, all of this on the outside to do there. And then, you know, the walls and everything. But that has been a little bit of house builder. I'm going to get rid of that ladder because it seems to be uh, functionally useless. Just going to put that in the corner there. Uh, job done. But, yeah, we're going to leave it there for now. But I will continue. This is going to be uh, the first of two videos where we'll go ahead and uh, finish the rest of the property. So, yeah, hopefully... You are excited to uh, check that one out. Either way, a very nice map, and uh, again, different construction techniques. It's uh, it's nice to see. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.